Welcome back to scaling. We're now focusing on a different type of measuring tool. We started with an architect scale. If you have not gone over this one, look at our previous lesson on architect scale. It's a great introduction into using one of these tools. An engineer scale is very similar to our architect scale, but it's used very differently. It's actually a lot more straightforward to use. It has multiple edges that have different scales on them. Typical engineer scales are going to be 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 30, 40, 50, and 60. What does this mean? It's all referencing 1 inch equals a certain number of feet. So you have for every inch, you have 10 feet, that would be 1 to 10. You have 1 to 20, which is 1 inch equals 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, and 60 feet. Each drawing should be spelled out to a different engineer scale. And let me mention that an engineer scale would be a tool that you, you would use if you're measuring outside. Typically, these measurements are much larger measurements, longer measurements. An architect scale is used when it's related to the building. So that would typically be used inside of a built structure. When we're using an engineer scale, we need to follow a certain number of steps, just like our architect scale, but they're not the same steps. So let's go ahead and go through them. First is identifying your scale. Your plans should be marked with a specific scale. You need to match the specific ruler edge to that scale so that you're working accurately. Next, find your zero mark on this scale. It's typically on that end where your scale is marked. Then you are going to measure down this scale away from your zero, looking for your last whole number. You're going to add zero to that number, which is multiplying that number times 10. And then you're going to count up your individual marks beyond that mark to come up with your single feet. This will give you your total measurement of feet. Let's go through three different measurements using three different scales. Starting with one inch equals 10 feet, we're looking at our last whole mark is six. We'll add a zero to that, that's 60, and then we'll count each mark beyond that 60. For a total of five marks, that's 65 feet. Our last example is one inch equals 50 feet. Our last whole mark lands on 16. We'll add a zero to that, that makes it 160, and then we'll count up our marks beyond that. Our marks are going to be one, two, and three. That makes it a total of 163 feet. Let's put this engineer scale to use on this set of plans. And I've rotated this set of plans. It might look strange to you on this camera, but it's lined up for our close-up camera. Also, this set of plans is spelled out at one inch equals 20 feet. So our first step is identifying that scale and locating it on this particular tool. I'm looking for my 1 to 20 edge. This is the ruler that I need to use. This is the dimension I'm looking for, my missing dimension. I'm going to measure it using my 1 inch equals 20 feet. I'll bring in my ruler and put my zero right on the edge of one side of that dimension. Now I'm looking down the ruler for my last full number, that is seven. I'll take that seven and I will add a zero to it. That gives me 70. And we're multiplying times 10 here, so it's seven times 10, that's 70 feet. I have some marks beyond that mark, so I have to count those marks, those are single feet. So here's 70, I have 71, two, three, four, 75. So this measurement, according to our one inch equals 20 foot scale is 75 feet. So that's the basics about using an engineer scale. And compared to an architect scale, it's a little simpler. Remember, we're not shifting this one around. We can read it just like a ruler. And also remember it works in tens. That's the other basics about the engineer scale. You will be using this measuring device in your skills exercise. And you'll be taking measurements, looking for all of these steps to happen, making accurate measurements with an engineer scale. Good luck with that, and I'll see you in the next lesson. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved. 
If you provide instruction in the construction trades and have a need for videos like these, please contact us at tradeskillsu.com.